Hi. Um, uh, so over the years, I've made a fair amount of work that's addressed political issues. I've also made um, a lot of work that isn't especially political or in, in an overt way. Um, and um, I think uh, the term political art has always made me feel a little uncomfortable because uh, I don't, my primary uh, motivation in making work honestly isn't really because I think it's going to affect political change. I, I, I think I'm kind of skeptical as to what art can do in that sense. Um, I think the political work I've made is comes from just more uh, a compulsion to speak and make things about what I think uh, is important. Uh, and um, over the last five years or so, I think my work has probably become less political. I've been painting mostly for whatever reason. I'm not quite sure how that came about. Um, but um, after the election, uh, you know, I immediately, like so many other people, felt compelled to do something. And so then I had to figure out what that would be. Um, I, uh, with some friends, uh, started an uh, activist group called HALT. And uh, we very quickly um, uh, formulated the idea for a protest, which was Ivanka Trump themed. And um, that uh, action was very successful. It got a tremendous amount of press coverage and uh, an Instagram account was start started by some of the people involved in the, the group. Uh, uh, and um, for me though, um, uh, I didn't really see a place for myself to continue with that group because that action kind of subsumed the group as a whole and uh, it wasn't really, I don't want to speak critically of it, but it's just, it became, it felt like someone's project, which I was not personally that invested in. So um, I started a, a, another project, it's kind of my second attempt to, to do something, which was uh, another Instagram account called The Daily Trumpet. And um, it started on the day of Trump's inauguration. And uh, my goal was to every day post one image uh, made for the account preferably uh, always by a different artist. Uh, and um, uh, maybe if everyone wants to take their phone out that has a, everyone who has a, a phone, you can look over your friend's shoulder. I can just uh, uh, walk you through some of the, the posts from the last month and a half. Um, so the account is uh, Daily Trumpet. And um, I'm not sure if this is going to work. But <laughs> do, do, do people have the? Yeah, we have it. OK. Uh, so um, uh, I asked like just a very broad range of artists to, to contribute uh, and 
uh, a, a lot of artists that don't make work that is remotely political. And it, it, interestingly enough, um, the, some of those people were the most responsive and eager to participate. And so, like, uh, on the, this, the second day of uh, Trump's presidency, uh, uh, Amy Silman, uh, the, the painter, made this really great uh, post um, based on uh, the, uh, the ACT UP, uh, Silence Equals Death graphic. Um, let's see. Uh, Uh, can kind of scroll through. Uh, Cecily Brown um, made a really great image uh, uh, based on a Rubens painting, where she she changed all of the faces to members of Trump's cabinet. Um, and you know, you know, Cecily makes abstract paintings that are sometimes a little bit figurative, but you know, this was an obvious departure for her, but she was very enthusiastic. Uh, a couple of days later, um, J Jennifer Bornstein, who's like, um, more of a conceptual photo-based artist, made this image of, of Trump uh, where she crumpled a piece of paper with his uh, Twitter image and tore his eyes out. And uh, this image, um, is now on the cover of Monopole magazine in uh, Germany. Uh, they contacted her after seeing the the account, um, and Jennifer is someone who's never made anything like this really before. She doesn't make work that's explicitly political. So, uh, it, in a way, the, the the project for me is a little bit of a challenge to artists to uh, to speak um, in, in a way which presumably they're best able to uh, by making images. And um, it's also, uh, it's, it's really interesting to see how people respond, uh, you know, to, to see what works. Because with Instagram, in real time, you get a sense of how people are responding, and uh, uh, this image of Trump with the uh, in a tuxedo um, was made by an abstract painter named Jennifer Guidi. Her work is just completely abstract, and um, this was one of the most popular uh, posts. Um, she kind of translated her painting idiom into this uh, uh, emoji uh, texting idiom, which uh, was very, which really worked. Uh, Lori Simmons made this really amazing image, which I posted a couple days later. She. Uh, took one of her early photographs from uh, 1984 with three dolls looking at the Statue of Liberty and she uh, put a thought uh, speech bubble on the Statue of Liberty which she painted with nail polish uh, saying help. Um, and you, know, you can look at your leisure. Uh, uh, and um, uh, yesterday, um, I posted an image by Peter Doig, who's also someone he would n never expect to make an image like this of uh, Trump as a loaf of spam. And um, so, uh, 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 before the election, I, I, I never engaged really at all with social media, and um, 
social media played such a big role in the election and its outcome that I, I thought it was an important to engage with it and uh, this is my attempt to and um, uh, so uh, that's it. Um, question, are you still looking for people to contribute to the feed if people have ideas or perhaps, this looks like a creative room, um, if people would like to submit something to you as consideration for Instagram feed, how can they do so? Uh, yes, um, please do. It's, um, uh, as you might imagine, getting uh, you know people to submit images to have something to post every day is not the easiest thing to do so it's yeah <laughs> okay uh, great yeah um, yeah yeah <laughs> uh, any other questions okay thanks For the sake of posterity, here are um, some of the images. Um, so, there we go. Um, thank you very much, Jonathan. It's a pleasure to have you here, especially to be able to communicate about the difference between different groups. Um, for example, the HALT Action Group that um, has also been very active in um, kind of opposing Trump. Um, for those who of you who don't know about it, um, People like Marilyn Minter have also been involved. Um, and it, it, it developed a very particular focus, a Dear Ivanka focus, which maybe doesn't, um, doesn't speak to everyone um, and certainly doesn't speak to people internationally.